Underneath my pillow, I discovered a handwritten note that simply stated, I'm still here. It all began innocuously enough. I had moved into a quaint, albeit slightly weathered townhouse a few months back. The neighborhood was serene, and the rent surprisingly affordable. The previous occupants had vacated suddenly, but I didn't pay much heed to it. Initially, everything seemed normal during the first few nights. Then, peculiar incidents started to unfold. At first, it was minor things misplaced items, keys not where I had left them, books inexplicably off the shelf. I attributed it to fatigue and the stress of settling into a new place. One unsettling night, I awoke around 3 a.m. to a soft, rhythmic thudding downstairs, as if someone were pacing. I lay there, listening intently, my heart racing, until the sound abruptly ceased. The next morning, I found all the kitchen cabinets wide open. I chuckled nervously, chalking it up to my own absent-mindedness. A week later, a chilling note awaited me on the kitchen counter. Get out. I assumed it was a prank, perhaps from a mischievous neighbor. Despite dismissing it, a lingering unease settled in. More notes followed. You're not welcome here. Leave while you can. Each message bore different handwriting, as though multiple individuals were issuing warnings. I began locking my bedroom door at night. One morning, I found it unlocked. I was certain I had secured it before retiring for the night. That's when I discovered the note beneath my pillow, its script uncannily resembling my own handwriting. Fearing for my sanity, I set up a camera in the living room to capture the prankster in action. The following morning, I reviewed the footage with trepidation. Around to 45 a.m., the recording showed me entering the living room, opening the cabinets, and placing the note on the counter. The chilling realization dawned on me I had no memory of any of these actions. Driven by terror, I confronted my landlord. Reluctantly, he disclosed that the previous tenant had encountered similar inexplicable occurrences and had abruptly departed out of fear. I wasted no time in vacating the townhouse the very next day. Yet, the experience continues to haunt me. Was it an elaborate prank, a manifestation of psychological strain, or something far more sinister? Even now, in my new residence, I find myself checking beneath my pillow, dreading what I might uncover. Throughout the story, especially during suspenseful moments, like hearing mysterious sounds or finding unsettling notes,